Welcome Aquarius. I'm back guys. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I have been a little MIA on you guys. I definitely do apologize. Um, but I have been focused on my hometown guys. Um, I know a lot of you may have heard about the Ahmad Arbery case, um, that happened in my hometown where I'm from. And that has been where my focus has been. Okay. Um, you know, we're looking to get justice in this situation. There's been protesting. There's been a lot going on in Glen County. Um, a lot has been exposed about the Glen County, um, you know, their system and how they operate and do things. And, you know, that has been where my focus has been over the past, actually, couple months since this thing first started. Okay. Glen County is just now gotten an arrest. Um, so there's just a lot, like the city is like a lot is going on in Brunswick, Georgia right now. That has where my focus has been. All right. So now I'm like, okay, we got to get back to business. I, I miss my people. I miss them. I miss their love, their loving energy. I missed you guys so much. And so I just decided like, you know what? I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to gather myself because guys, I've been very, very upset about this situation this situation has really torn me into pieces um and then for an actual video to be uploaded and for me to see it with my own two eyes it was very disturbing um and you know that's just something I, it's just sad that a person had to lose their life that way um so definitely guys most definitely i run with mod that is what i'm going to be screaming until justice is served okay that's the campaign, all right? So, let's get into it, Aquarius, all right? Let's get into it. Let's get into it, guys. Let's get into it, Aquarius. What messages do we have for Aquarius? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. So, if you have Aquarius anywhere in your chart, sun, moon, rising, Venus, you can apply this um, to you, okay? These are general reads. They may or may not resonate. If it resonates, guys, make sure you leave me a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, click that bell to subscribe because you don't want to miss out. All right? Make sure you guys let me know what's going on in the comment section. Share with your family and friends. Go ahead and hit the like button, guys. Hit that like button. Show me some love. Hit that like button, guys. All right? You got a jumper. We got the queen of pentacles. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You could be um, dealing with the earth sign or you could just be focusing on your finances. You're trying to make sure that you're covered or you feel very you know, up on top of your game financially, okay? Let's see. Give me an overall message for May for my Aquarius. Three of Cups here in the reverse at the bottom of the deck. Okay, let's see. Eight of Wands reversed. Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles has been showing his ass in all of my readings. And it's like in the same position. All right. We got the Knight of Wands. Okay. What is this? This is all the same cards. The Knight of Swords in reverse. What's, wait a minute. What y'all got going on, Aquarius? Four of Swords in the reverse. And the Lovers in the reverse. Okay. What is going on here? What is this? Mm. 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 Goodness gracious. Okay. Lots of play player like energy here. Okay. I'm getting that there's just like playing energy. Like there's back and forth energy. Okay, let's see. Why is the eight of wands here reverse? This could be communication. Could be like some form of text message. Okay, this is you guys' energy. Aquarius, which is the star card. So maybe you're hoping to get some type of communication. Things have been going a little slow, okay? Maybe you somebody's dragging their feet and you're wanting them to pick up the pace. Um, you want somebody to put a little bit of pep in their step because they're moving a little too slow for you. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? <laughs> okay. Maybe you've let your guard down. You had your guard down. You trusted this person in the past. 
to do something for you. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Kind of playing, playing like energy. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Okay, you're waiting for this person to get back. You're waiting for this person to come back. Um, it's like, I hope they hurry up and get back. Because it's been a while, like, what's going on? You wanted them to possibly, like, go there and handle this real, real quick. But it kind of didn't go that way. Why is the Knight of Swords here in reverse? The Hermit reverse. You can be dealing with the Virgo. Page of Swords. Page of Wands. And the Queen of Pentacles. You've been like kind of keeping your eye. You're, you're like watching. Okay. I feel like you're behind the scenes watching. Why is the Hermit card here? Four of Pentacles wanted to jump out. Okay. You've been keeping your distance. You've been keeping your distance. King of Pentacles. Virgo Taurus Capricorn Energy. Could be um, somebody that um, you deal with on a business tip or, you, you know, someone who is very financially stable. Somebody here has been keeping their, their distance, okay? So maybe this is what I see. You're hoping that this person reaches out to you. Um, you've been waiting for this person to come around. Maybe they have been keeping their distance or you've been keeping your distance is what I'm getting, Okay. I feel like you're a little disappointed because there hasn't been any contact or minimal contact. Why is the Four of Swords here in reverse? Queen of Wands. <laughs> Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Maybe you think this person is out doing, <laughs> doing them. And we got the chariot card. You could be dealing with the cancer. But you could be like thinking about where this person could be. Like what are they doing? You're waiting for them to come back. And it's been taking a slow ass time. And you just. Maybe you've kept. Decided that you were going to keep your distance. Or they're keeping their distance. From you. So maybe you start to feel like you've made the wrong decision here. With the lovers in the reverse. Okay, maybe you feel like you didn't choose the right person. Why is the lovers here? Could be dealing with the Gemini. Yeah, we got the Six of Wands. So maybe you feel like this person isn't giving you any attention. And you may feel like, you know what, I don't, I, I don't even want to be in this relationship no more. Okay, I don't even want this union anymore. Someone here loves attention and not getting it. Okay, we got the Four of Cups. I feel like you're disappointed in this person. I feel like you trusted them. Yeah, see the moon card here. You may feel like this person is hiding things. They got secrets. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. You may feel like this person be, be trying to hide stuff, okay? Like, you just feel like they are hiding. You feel like they're hiding something from you. For some of you, this person could be married or they're separated. But I'm getting like there's like a, a split in um, there could be maybe you're splitting money with this person or there they possibly are in a relationship um, or been in something long term. And then there was like a separation or some type of split. But I feel like you just you're not feeling it because you feel like they're trying to hide something. Why is the judgment card here? Judgment reverse at that. Okay. They feel like they're taking chances. Like they they feel like they've been taking a lot of chances. But you may be dealing with a little liar, a little cheat here. Okay. Justice reverse. You feel like this is unfair. Okay. King of Swords. Some of you guys are uh someone here is dealing with the court system. Okay. Someone, um, maybe you fear that this person may go to jail or may have to go see, I'm getting like a probation officer or something like that with the King of Swords here and the Justice card here. Why is the King of Swords here? Okay, Tower. Okay, I feel like some of you are afraid. This isn't a hopes and fears. Maybe some of you are afraid that, you know, something may happen out of the blue. Why is the Tower card here? Yeah, see, I'm getting an authority figure here um, with the Emperor here. Aries is energy, but I'm getting like an authority figure. And it could be a fear. 
Okay, maybe you fear that they may run into something that they don't have, you know, that that isn't going to be in their best interest. But as the, as the outcome, we got the seven of wands in reverse. So this is someone giving up on a fight, you know, putting their, putting their sticks down, putting their, you know, putting down the fight. We got the death card in the reverse. Okay, nine of pentacles. Okay, so, and here's the spying card again. Your intuition was telling you that this person could possibly um, have a third party situation that you could possibly be a part of a third party situation. I feel like you've been already spying on them. Okay. This is something that you've already been like kind of up on game about. Um, but I do feel like you're going to be focusing on yourself. Okay. Now it's the nine of pentacles here. Some of you may go out and may and be single. Okay. Five of Wands, okay? You're trying to close the chapter. You're trying to close this chapter. A chapter is going to be closed on something that is like, you know, maybe there's arguing, there's petty little fights. Um, the chapter is closing on that. Yeah. Somebody's just talking mess all the time. Starting fights and starting arguments. I feel like that's going to be over. And it could be in regards to, like, money, Okay. And then maybe there's arguments about money. But do you feel like this person is being sneaky anyway? And you've been waiting on them to contact you or come back around, waiting on them to get back, and they've just been, you know, playing around? What message do you have for Aquarius? Okay, Aquarius, we got longing for home, belonging, all right? Hmm. We got mirror, who or what is triggering you, okay? Who or what is triggering you? All right, I'll take them. We got protection, call back your power, cutting the cords, and we got breaking the chain. Okay, so some type of cycle or something is getting ready to close and end. Okay, a way, a certain way of doing things, as, um, a way of thinking, a way of being. Um, I feel like you guys are getting ready to break some type of cycle here. Maybe there's an ongoing cycle, like you do things the same way every single time. And this person is getting used to, you know um them being able to do this or do that i feel like you're getting ready to break some type of cycle okay and you're calling back your power you're cutting some cords here and you may you know you may be thinking about your protection are you protected you know if i was to cut this tie am i going to be straight i feel like you're going to be good okay if there's a cycle you need to break break that break that break that Okay, so let's get advice from the angels. Let's see what the angels have to say. Aquarius. What messages do you have for Aquarius? All right, so what messages do you have for Aquarius? Thank you. We got, um, they want to jump out, like, they're jumping out. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Within the next few months, no need to worry. We got not the right time. And something is very unlikely, okay? And I also have listened to your intuition. So this message is really, really strong. Let's get some clarifiers. Why is unlikely here? Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles has been showing his ass all night long. You could be dealing with the Capricorn. But it's unlikely that this person... I feel like someone that you deal with is like... Takes their sweet little time to do things or to handle things. Queen of Cups. It's unlikely that this person is going to show you emotion possibly. Or give you... Show you some type of compassion Something about when someone leaves your house, when they leave your home. Or someone wants somebody to leave their family or something to that nature. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Six of Wands. Yeah, someone's not getting the attention that they want, okay? And someone is a liar. Someone is a liar. Someone is sneaky. Someone is a cheat. 
Okay, not the right time. Why is not the right time here? Someone is not catering to someone's feelings here. And here we go again, the Knight of Swords and the Hermit card. Okay, so it's not the right time. I feel like somebody is being distant or has been distant. Okay, why is the Knight of Swords here? Somebody feels lonely too. I'm, I'm getting like someone leaves someone feeling lonely. Okay. Um, so you guys are possibly like waiting for something new. Okay. Ace of Swords. Okay. Waiting for this person to reach out to you and contact you. Okay. Or waiting for some of the third party. There could be a third party situation. Maybe you're waiting to hear to see if that person is going to reach out and say something. Cause I'm getting like this distance. Like someone is, is like ghosting someone and then they come running back, um, with some, with some type of new story to tell. Okay. But we got to listen to your intuition. Why not listen to your intuition here? Seven of Swords. You may feel like this person is a liar. This person is a liar. Okay, this person has plenty. Look at this. They got plenty options. Okay, they got plenty of options. They got plenty of options. Listen to your intuition about this person. If your intuition is telling you that this person is being sneaky and doing things behind your back and whatever, whatever, listen to your intuition and make the next move. Okay. All right, guys, if this message was helpful for you, can give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to let me know what's going on in the comment section below. If you want to book your very own personal reading, that information is in the drop box below. And I will chat with y'all later. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. And I'll run with mod. All right. Peace and love, guys.